Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can create a checkered steel plate in Maya or at least model it. Okay, um, first of all what's a checkered plate? Well I'll pull up my reference image so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna to go to my for view here. I'm gonna to go to my front view, click on view, image plane and import image. Now I found something on uh, Google which is this file here and I'm going to open that and as you can see this is the checkered plate that I was talking about so I'm going to drag select that hit R and scale that up a little bit okay now I'm going to start off on polygons menu by creating a cube just drag that out in the grid pull it up a little bit hit 5 for shaded mode and hit 3 to soften that out like so now I'm going to go back to my front view, hit 5 for shaded mode, and we're going to get this thing in position, hit W, pull it over roughly here, hit E to rotate that, something like that. We're going to hit F to zoom in, and R to scale it down a bit. So as far as the length, W to pull it up a little bit. It's uh, pretty close. And we're going to hit R to make that a bit thicker. Something like that. All right. Now we're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. W to move that over, like so. And we're going to hit uh, Shift D to duplicate that once more. Then we're going to select that one, Control D, W to move it up, E to rotate it, W to move it over, like that. Hit Control D, move it here, and we're going to hit Shift D. like that okay so now that we got these six figures we can get rid of the reference actually not quite yet we're just going to drag select all of this hit control D and move that up like so alrighty and now we can get rid of your reference image so just drag select that and delete it we're gonna select the whole group hit control D and we're going to move that over until we have the same pattern, like so. And we're going to hit Shift D and Shift D. Okay, there we go. We're going to drag select everything. Hit Control D. We're going to move the whole thing up. Okay, that looks about good. And we're going to hit Shift D and Shift D. All right. So now that we've got all that, we're going to drag select everything. I'm going to go to Mesh and Combine. And I'm going to go back to my perspective view. And I'm going to hit E to rotate that so it's flat. Make that 90 degrees, in this case, minus 90. And we're going to create a simple ground plate so to speak so I'm going to create this cube here pull that out give it a little bit of thickness and hit W to pull that up and let's check it from the various views to make sure that we're doing okay as far as the position of it that looks about right scale it in a little bit Hit W, pull it up. Okay. Now, let's see from our top view if we're doing okay. All right. Zoom in a bit more. And we're going to scale the plate. So hit R to make it much thinner. And W to pull that up. To about halfway, something like that. Well, that should be okay. Now we're going to drag select everything, 
right click on it and assign new material. I'm going to go with an MIA material X, go to my, to my material tab, go to presets, chrome, and replace. I'm going to set up some quick lighting for that. So create lights and point light, pull that up, hit control D to duplicate that once like that. Shift select both lights, go to my point light shape tab and select use depth map shadows. Okay. Now we can go to our render settings and we have to select mental ray because we've got a mental ray material. I'm going to bump my quality to about one, roughly, something like that. And in my common tab, I'm going to get a quality of HD 720. So now we should be ready to render. Let's see. And here we go. I'll just, uh, pause that while it's rendering because it's going to take a bit and I'll get back to you in just a second. Okay guys, welcome back. Well, as you can see, the render is complete and uh, this is how I model a checkered steel plate. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, likes and subscriptions are really appreciated. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.